West to Harmin Freund and welcome to yet another video. Let us have some fun, shall we, my dear friends? Well, let us talk the rings of power a little bit and make it a little bit more fun than uh, it is usual. So, we know that uh, it's not a very good show. Uh, go back, my dear friends. If you're here for the first time, welcome to the European Law Channel. A channel of one tinsy, tiny European fella who has devoted a huge part of his life to studying the works of Professor Tolkien and indeed uh, the old English literature and uh, the Anglo-Saxon poems and the fantasy of the 20th century. And uh, But does not call himself Tolkien Professor or a Tolkien Tolkien expert. I'm just a humble guy who likes to rant on the internet and uh, express his dissatisfaction with the state of uh, the contemporary entertainment industry. So go back, my dear friends, and check out my videos, my reviews of the Rings of Power, as well as the House of the Dragon, and you will know that I am not very much a fan of uh, well, the Rings of Power. And the biggest gripe we all have, apart from the fact that uh, the entire show has got absolutely nothing to do, nada, zero, with the works of Professor Tolkien, we know by now that they have only labelled the sacred name of Tolkien and the Lord of the Rings on their 100% uh, constructed story and their original characters, even those characters who appeared in the appendices to the Lord of the Rings, are very much different and are 100% made up by Amazon. So, one of the biggest gripes apart from that uh, is the casting, of course, of uh, many of the characters, the majority of them. The worst is probably Galadriel, who is absolutely nothing like Galadriel in the books or in the films uh, by Peter Jackson. Morfit Clark, uh, just by herself, on her own, she's not a good actress at all. She's a plank of wood. Uh, but uh, whenever uh, there are gripes and dissatisfactions, criticism, let us say, of anything today, we are instantly and immediately called and labeled distant phobes, but we don't care about that, do we? And the biggest problem uh, of the casting is, of course, the elves. Very few of the elves have been cast properly. Uh, let us not now look at uh, how well the actors portray the elves, because none of them do uh, the job any justice. But it is the visual aspect, the visual representation. And the worst of the worst of the worst of the worst is Celebrimbor. Oh yeah, Uncle Celebrimbor, or Celebrimbor as I should pronounce it because it was made by Amazon. I refuse to pronounce the names as they should be pronounced according to, to Professor Tolkien, because this is, of course, uh, nothing close to our, dear to our dear professor. And Celebrimbor, does, it, does he really remind you of um, one of the greatest smiths of the elven kind, right after Feanor? Eh, it doesn't really to me. So I've, had, I've been thinking about it, and about uh, the... Uh, possible actors that I would cast as elves in a potential Lord of the Rings or the expanded universe, shall we say, no, the legendarium um, adaptation. And uh, I came up with a list of five people who are maybe the last, <laughs> the last five men on your list. But by this, by providing you with a list of some of the craziest choices, I want to prove to you how much wrong Amazon is and has been in their casting that there are actors who would be much better elves and much better looking elves just slap a wig on them and they would portray uh, the beautiful and awesome uh, race of the Eldar much better than those actors in the Rings of Power. Of all things, um, the actor from uh, the competing show uh, House of the Dragon looks uh, like an elf in that particular show. We are talking about uh, Matt Smith portraying uh, Damon Targaryen. Now he's got very specific, uh, extraordinary features, very prominent jaw, but also a brow, and uh, his nose is also, uh, let us say, goes in line with the rest of his face. But it's it's a face you will never forget. He really looks elvish to me and of course especially then when he's got the white wig on his head 
betraying Daemon Targaryen. He would be, I mean, in the House of the Dragon, he is great. He's my favorite character um, from that show. And if I remember correctly, he was also one of my favorite characters in the book. So that might be me being, uh, well, in favor of Matt Smith, because I, I love both the actor and the character of uh, Daemon Targaryen. And I know that he's a very good actor and that he could pull it off as uh, both uh, as far as his visual looks and as far as his acting skills. The second one, if we want to go to a little bit more independent scene, um, I chose two actors from Stranger Things. The first one is uh, uh, Joseph Quinn, who portrayed Eddie Munson. He has proved that he's a very good and skilled actor. Now, Eddie Munson has become instantly a fan favorite. Everybody saw the latest or whoever saw the latest season of the Stranger Things, they say, oh my gosh, Eddie Munson is such a great character, and he has become a, a favorite character of many people. I belong among them. He pulled it off extremely well. And once again, um, the features in his face, they are not very, like, macho, uh, masculine, even though his character from the beginning, or at the beginning of the show, he was kind of a bully, kind of a, you know, a, a rocker metalhead, um, a rough, tough guy. Uh, but, you know, well, we, we know as the show progresses that he's really a good guy and a, and a kind soul. But he was able to pull it off, but I'm talking about the features in his face. He's got very... Um, uh, I don't want to say timid, but very um, uh, beautiful, let's say, features. Shall we, shall we, could we say that about a man? Um, let's say that it's the opposite of a rough. So this is why I would cast, uh, cast Joseph Quinn uh, as uh, another elf. Of course, they would have to put a quite a different wig on him. Uh, with ideally straight hair. But uh, why not? He would be a great elf. Much better than Uncle Celebrimbor. Or even Elrond. I mean... <sighs> Alright. Out of all the characters from the Rings of Power. I mean, out of, out of all elves from the Rings of Power. Elrond, Robert Aramaya, or whatever his name is. He looks the most elvish. I have to admit. There is just one thing. It's the hair. People are complaining, there are people on both sides, oh, elves should have long hair, or people are saying, well, it doesn't matter. Well, in the case of Elrond, it really does matter, because if he had long hair, I believe he would look at a, m much more elvish. But in any way, uh, there was Matt Smith and Eddie Munson, and the third one is Jamie Campbell Bower, Another character from Stranger Things, he was in different things, but I haven't really seen these things, and he was number one in the Stranger Things. And once again, if you look, it, he's got very uh, elvish features in his face, and he has once again proved also that he's a very good actor, very skilled actor, so why not? I would much rather have him portraying, um, let us say, Celebrimbor than the guy who is portraying him. Well, we know that uh, elves should be timeless, ageless, really that they uh, are only growing up, quote-unquote, to a certain age and then just stop. Well, we, we, we know, of course, that even in Peter Jackson's trilogy, there were elves who looked older than very young, for example, Hugo Weaving. But he, my dear friends, was at least able to portray Elrond perfectly. So, if you don't look like an elf per se such as Hugo Weaving, because I, I, before he was in The Lord of the Rings, I wouldn't really consider him, you know, to look elvish. But he has portrayed El Elrond so perfectly that he will forever be Elrond in my mind. Even though I had read the book, The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, so books, ages before I saw The Lord of the Rings films. So that you can see how much of an impact can a good film have. So those are the three. The fourth one is Bill Skarsgård, uh, the fellow who portrayed uh, Pennywise in uh, the new It uh, adaptation. If you look at him, 
Well, he looks elvish, of course, not under all the makeup when he was portraying Pennywise. But uh, once again, all these men that I have come up with so far, all the four of them uh, have um, very, uh, if, well, let's say elvish features, shall we say. Uh, and the last one, the last one, it started as a joke uh, a couple of months ago when uh, the first pictures of all the different elvish characters started uh, coming out. And I said, oh, uh, but, you know, this character looks much more elvish than all of them combined. And I was talking about Tommy Wiseau. <laughs> now, I know, I know. Everybody knows the room. Everybody loves it because it's the worst film in the world, probably. But uh, there is this, there is this something about him, isn't there? He's a very mysterious man. His 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 past is shrouded in mystery. He should come from around, I would say, the same area as 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 I am, somewhere in the Central Europe, I think. And then he moved to America. You can, after all, hear it from his accent when he speaks. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> all right. Um, but if you look at him, especially when he, when when he was younger, when he was uh, in the room. Why, why not? Definitely a hundred times more elvish looking than Celebrimbor. He's an older fella now, but still, so was Hugo Weaving when he was, for example, in the Hobbit trilogy. So those are my five more or less jokingly chosen um, actors to portray elves in the Rings of Power. But if you think about it more and more, you realize that, yeah, it's a joke, but... Well, they could really be elves, and if they had like wigs, long wigs, they could pull it off. Four of them are excellent actors. One of them is a, <laughs> a strange guy, <laughs> but uh, at least we could have laughed honestly and not pitifully when watching The Rings of Power. All right, let me know in the comments down below what your picks are for jokingly or not chosen uh, <laughs> cast members for the elves in uh, a, a uh, some adaptation of uh, Tolkien's, um, Tolkien's books. And that'll be all. Thank you very much for watching. And the Marie.